piano is passion. And that's why I want you to get a passion for piano. First of all, it's super fun once you get into a piece. It's just the payoff. When you're working a lot and you just feel that payoff when you finally you get it, right? Honestly, I think it just it's just it's just a good activity to do, a good hobby. I would highly suggest that if you want to play piano, if you want to play an instrument, you should start with a piano because the piano is a base for almost every other instrument that you want to learn because you'll know the notes and it's something that you'll be able to use for the rest of your life. It might be a great hobby to do, it might be something that you can show off to your friends or family, or you could just make a job out of it and become something better with it. Maybe Berkeley, Juilliard, I'm planning on majoring in college in this. Well, the Musical Arts Piano Conservatory is a longtime dream of mine where members of the community, just people who want to learn music all ages, I just found a location and it's a wonderful place because it's all about piano and that's what our lives are about. The community has embraced us beautifully. It's a great honor and privilege to develop music and music making and human beings. There's three of us handling all of our students and we have about 110 students and all of our students just study piano. That was my dream to be able to develop a piano school for the community. So I found a wonderful location here in Tampa on Kennedy Boulevard. It's been my passion, piano has been. I'm just always in a learning mode when it comes to the piano and it never gets old or stale or boring in, in any way because every day is a new challenge. I learn from my students and I learn from myself and you know we just, it's all about growth. I guess that's the main thing. Yeah, plays. Do you remember which one is very good? Let's play together now on that. Ready, play. Four stay the same, three stay the same, two same, same, rest. I have been coming here nearly five years. I have two sons playing here. One is 12, the other one is seven. And the reason why we like Cataldo, Miss Cataldo, is that she is detail-oriented, very, very, uh, you know, thorough. She knows the stuff and she took my son to a different level and he plays extremely well uh, because of her. So she's the best teacher, you know, really. She's very good with kids, especially. My second one just started uh, almost a year right now and it's hard for me to keep him in one place, but she can keep him disciplined and make sure that he plays the whole thing. She has that talent. It's awesome. With everything you do here, it's way different than what um, others would do. They have summer camp where you can learn improvising and then stay here for the day, like improvise. And then she'd give you lessons, but then she's really helpful with her lessons. Still has to be steady. Very specific. It takes a while to get all that, but once you get it, it's really, really good. students express themselves. I think musical expression is really what making music is all about. It's a challenge sometimes to show other human beings how to express themselves at the piano. And so our philosophy is that even a student who's in the very beginning stages of playing can learn how to play expressively. And we show them how to do that through our own playing or through demonstrating in the lessons, how to play louder here, play softer there, how to lean into the music and put your heart into it, how to play expressively. And that's when music making really becomes the most fun. She gets you there. So there's no dilly-dally, you gotta, you gotta work for it. It feels like more real, professional kind of teaching instead of you know just a small teacher. And see if we can do it freely. Probably the hardest is just learning how to incorporate different dynamics into a piece. Making one note louder than the other or variations in levels. I mean, it's just a better experience, really. I think everyone should try learning an instrument, learning music, and a piano is a good place to start. 
It's the most basic instrument. If you learn the piano, you can play anything else. It gives them something to fall back on when they're sad, when they are happy, to express themselves. It's something they do for their soul. It is a wonderful place, wonderful teachers. She knows how to understand a child's learning abilities and uh, a child's character and cater the lesson to that. For kids, in my opinion, it's, it's a necessary education that they have to have. Not only do they learn how to uh, solve problems in real life, but it, it's proven that it's developed the logical thinking. They will do better performance in school. It also develops their own personality in some way. Like you can see some kids very shy, but when they play, they are really like, Wow, I didn't know this kid was like that. So it shows the real, the real uh, personality sometimes. Like make music with them, their own music, not only like I, you know, it's my, not only my idea. So I want them to have their own idea, create their story. So if they make it, uh, I'm happy too, right? People enjoy the motion of, and the feeling of playing the piano, but I think the most important thing that people get from playing any instrument or singing is self-expression. Along the way, it's, what we hope is that students will try out the piano and they'll fall in love with the process of learning to play. Because that way they'll want to stick with it and enjoy making music. As I said, expression is the most important thing. So I always tell my students, try to fall in love with the process practicing, the time you spend. The goal is very important, but the process of getting there is um, the most fun. So if you fall in love with the process, I think you'll always want to play yep. so that our students will, will continue along that path of lifelong music making. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. We will see you soon. Okay, safe travels this week. Thank you.